equivalent linear systems. Create and verify two linear systems that are equivalent to this system. It has two different equations. The first one is 2x plus 3y equals to 5 and the second one is x minus 2y equals to 6. So let's number these equations as 1 and 2, right? So these are the given equations to us. We need to create equivalent linear systems, right? So we'll adopt the methods learn. So first we can create by adding and subtracting. So what we will do is we'll add 1 and 2. So we'll add 1 and 2 and then create our equivalent list linear system. So if I add them, I get 3x and here I should be y and 6 plus 5 is 11. And if I subtract them, that means 1 minus 2, I get a set of equation. Uh, 2x minus x is x. 3x minus of minus 2y will give me plus 5y and minus 1. So we started with one linear system, right? This is one linear system. We got one more by doing addition and subtraction. Well, at times you can even multiply and then add subtract. So this time what we will do is that we will multiply the second one by 2 and then add. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm doing 2 times equation 2. Okay, let me first do 2 times equation 2. So 2 times equation 2 will be 2x minus 4y equals to 6, right? That is my 2 times equation 2, right? Now, now the next set of equations I'm going to get with, I've just multiplied this. So I got a new equation, right? 2 times, well, this should be 12. Let me correct it. It's a good time. I saw it, right? So it's 2 times 6 is 12, right? So I got a new system of equation. This is 2 times this. Now what I will do is I will find another equation and I'm doing equation 1 minus 2 times equation 2. This minus this to write down my second equation. So if I do this minus this, 2x minus 2x is 0. 3y minus 4y will give me 7y, right? And 5 minus 12 gives me minus 7. So we have a third set of equation. You see that. So by adding, subtracting, multiplying and then adding, subtracting, you can get equivalent linear systems. Now we need to verify if really all these are equivalent or not. right? Now the last equation you find that we have isolated y in the process, right? So this equation can help us solve the equation itself. So from here, we can say 7y equals to minus 7. That means y is equals to minus 7 divided by 7, which is minus 1. Now if y is minus 1, then what is x? So I can substitute the value of y here and find x. So I get 2x and minus 1 makes it plus 4 equals to 12. And therefore, x is equals to 12 minus 4 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So we get x equals to 4, right? I know I did a couple of steps together, but you can do it on your own. So what we get here is x equals to 4. If I write 4 here, 4 times 2 is 8. And minus 1 here, minus 1 times minus 4 is 4. 8 plus 4 is 12. So that's kind of a check. So what I've got is one point of intersection which is a solution for the third set of linear system and the solution is x value of 4 and y value of minus 1. Now if this is the solution for all the equations then they are all equivalent linear system. You get the idea right? Let me call this as system 1, this is system 2 and this is system 3. So we already have a solution which we have worked for system 3, right? So what we will do is we'll substitute these values for x and y and check, right? That's a good way of checking. 4 minus 1, right? So if I write 4 for x, I get 2 times 4 plus 3 times minus 1. What that results into? 2 times 4 is 8 
and 3 times minus 1 is minus 3 that gives us 5 correct let's check with the second one 2 times not 2 times just x so it is 4 minus 2 times minus 1 so it is 4 plus 2 which is 6 so it works do you see that so the same point of intersection works for the first set of linear system that means these two are equal at linear systems well you can try for the last one also 4 for x will give us 3 times 4 plus minus 1 for y which is 12 minus 1 which is 11 that is correct and the last one 4 for x plus 5 times minus 1 4 minus 5 is indeed minus 1 so what we verified is that the point of intersection for all the three systems is same right they all have same solution and the solution for our linear systems is the point 4 minus 1 got it and you also understood the method of finding equivalent linear systems which we can always find by adding subtracting multiplying and then adding subtracting and all these combinations create equivalent linear systems i hope you appreciate it thank you but one more question can you write the simplest solution to this a system which will have x equals to 4 and y equals to minus 1 that also forms a linear equivalent system for the given situation do you see that becomes the fourth one and the simplest form where we have equations with just one variable. Do you see that? I hope you appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.